Sue, I've been talking to many cosmologists, and whether they happen to be atheists or theists, virtually every one points to consciousness, if I push them hard enough, as something that resides at the most fundamental level. I've been shocked at how many people, how many physicists use consciousness as the most fundamental thing in the universe. Well, some of them I know are just waffling and making nonsense of it. People swing wildly between materialism and idealism with consciousness. I think we have to start from how it feels. It feels like there's an immortal soul. It feels as though what's important about me is that I'm conscious. There's things I'm conscious of and there's me. And that me is something that feels as though it lives in the body and has free will and can, you know, make my arms move, that sort of thing. It just seems to feel that way. But you then go and look in a brain and what do you find? I mean, <laughs> you know what you'll see in there, don't you? Right. Actually, I've never looked in my own brain, but you will see a great kind of porridgey mass in there of billions of neurons connected up in billions of ways. How can a soul be there? The more we understand about the brain, the further neurophysiology and neuroscience progresses, the less room there is for a soul or even for a self. Because all of the jobs that were previously given to the soul, being conscious, causing actions, um, thinking, um, having insight, um, thinking up new ideas, being creative, all of those things, we, we are beginning to see how the brain does them. You know, the old fashioned view is absolutely I'm a spirit or a soul and I'm important and I, you know, I might even live forever. That's the kind of starting point for all human cultures. I mean, and science is forcing us, forcing us and forcing us and forcing us, as it forced us to see that the Earth is not the centre of the universe and, uh, you know, we're not the only um, reason for life on, on this planet. It's forcing us, I think, to, to, to come to that truth. We're not, we're not a spirit, we're not a soul, we're not even a little self inhabiting our brains. But having no souls, no spirits, nothing, no, nothing non-physical as part of the picture. No, nothing non-physical in that sense of, 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 you know, something in another dimension or some sort of waffly little spirits and not that sort of thing.